In this video, I'll show you how to create a subscription website. Let's get straight into it. First, let's have a look at a different type of subscription website. Okay, so we've got websites that sell physical products such as this coffee club here. And here we can actually tailor our subscription box and then just check out accordingly, right? Okay, let's have a look at native. Okay, so for example, with native, you can choose to subscribe to one of their natural deodorant products, and then we can purchase it one time, right, which is $13. However, if we choose to purchase this on a subscription basis, we've been given a 15% discount, right? And we can choose the frequency as well. So all these examples that we'll go through, you'll also be able to create a similar setup with the solution that I'll recommend later now we can have a look at a few digital products. So an example could be a software service, a ebook slash audiobook, a streaming service like Netflix. How about if you were to run a service? If so, if you think of something like Design Pickle. Okay, so if you subscribe to their plan, you can essentially submit requirements to have various graphics design, right? And their team will design it for you. But this is a great example of how to productize a service, right? And offer it on a subscription basis. Okay, so now let's have a look at exclusive content. For example, we can sell access to a private community, live event or coaching and so much more. All right, so with that out of the way, let's have a look at the site requirement and what you actually need to get started. So the first on our list is you'll need a domain name, right? Such as susanscandles.com, right? And usually this will cost you anywhere from $10 a year. And we'll need a hosting provider, for example, Bluehost, or you can choose any other hosting provider you like. Um, typically you can spend anywhere from five to $10. Of course, you can spend a lot more. On average, that's what it will cost you to have a hosting account. And the hosting account is where you'll host all your site files and everything else. And your domain will connect to your hosting account, right? And then we'll need to install WordPress, which is free, right? So with WordPress, if you think of WordPress as a Lego block, you can basically stack different elements on top of it, right? So you can add e-commerce functionality by using a free WooCommerce plugin, which is what we'll be using in this video. We can go ahead and choose the AOVOP subscription plugin, which will cost you roughly $20 a month. So if you head over to AOVOP.com, go ahead and download the AOVOP subscription plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's worth noting as well that there will be a free version available in the future with a few limited features. Okay, so once you've got all the required components to create your website, we'll just head over to our dashboard and then we'll get straight into it. So I'm assuming you've already got your domain, your hosting, and you've already installed WordPress. If you haven't, I'll leave a link on screen and in the description below to a different video where I'll show you how to get your domain, hosting, and so on, okay? But with that being said, just make sure you upload the AOV up subscription plugin. And I'll also use the product add-ons plugin as well, because we want to allow users to create these configurable options, right? Whilst choosing their subscription. So we'll start with this type of setup first, and then we'll show you how to create something similar to this one. We'll create our product. So we'll head over to products and then we'll click add new. We'll give our product a name, so we'll say coffee. We'll add our image. Okay, and then for the price, we'll set this to zero. And the reason why we're setting it to zero is because in the next step, we'll go ahead and create our configurable options, right? And then based on the user selection, that will determine the price of the product. So we'll leave this at zero for now. Okay, so for the category, I'm going to name this coffee and then we'll just hit publish. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and create the options to add to this particular product. Okay, so now we'll navigate over to AOV up and then product add ons. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit create option set. We'll give this a name, it's just for internal purposes. So we'll say coffee and then we get to choose which product we want to apply these extra options to. So we can set it to all specific product or a specific product type. I'm going to select a specific product here. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and search for that product in which we just created. In my case, it's coffee. We can select it and then we'll go ahead and add our first options, right? So I'm going to select label or image. All right, so for the title, we'll say something like coffee preference because we want the users to choose their preference, whether they want it grounded or whole bean. And then for the label, we can say something like grounded. Okay, we'll add an image 
just to make it more visually appealing. Okay, and then we can increase the price if a user chooses selection or we can decrease the price. I'm just gonna leave it the same. So let's add another option and here we'll say whole bean, right? Again, let's add an image and then let's hit save. Okay, so now we want the users to choose the roast preference, right? So I'll add another option. And again, I'll choose label or image. For the title, we'll say roast preference. For our first label, we can say light to medium. Again, we'll add an image just to make it more visual. And it's this option here. We can increase the price based on their selection, right? So I'll show you how to do that in a second. I will say medium to dark. We'll add an image again. Select our image. Let's add one more option. And now we'll say all rows. Let's add our image. Let's hit select and then save. And then finally, we want our customers to choose the number of bags they want in their shipment. So I'm going to add another option. And again, I'm going to select label or image. You can choose radio button if you want or um, a checkbox, right? So it's totally up to you. I'm just using this option here because I like the design of it. For the title, we'll say number of bags per shipment and we'll say double bag. We will add our image again. There's our double bag. And then if a user choose double bag, we are going to actually change the price based on this selection. So we're going to increase the price by $30, for example. So it'll cost them $30 if they want this particular um, product shipped out to them. And then we'll set the frequency later on. Um, so let's add another option and now we'll say single bag again add our image let's change the price we'll increase the price and this time we'll say $16 let's add another option let's say half bag and this will be $10 so first let's add the image let's increase the price and to set this to $10 let's hit save Okay, and now let's view our product again. So let's refresh this page. Okay, and this is what we've got so far. So it's looking good. So we can choose our preference. We can choose the coffee type, whether it's grounded or whole bean. We can choose the roast type. And now we can choose um, how many packets we want in a bag. However, currently this is just a one-time purchase. So if we wanna add that subscription element to it, then we'll need to configure our subscription plan. All right, so now let's go ahead and configure our subscription plan. So we'll head back over to our dashboard and we'll navigate to AOV up and then subscriptions and then we'll navigate over to plans and then we'll go ahead and create a plan. So we'll give this a name. It's just for internal purposes. And then for the display name, we'll put subscribe and save. And then for the subscription heading, we'll say something like choose plan, right? And then for the frequency, we'll say delivery. This will make sense in a second. And then we'll add our plans. So I'm going to add two plans. So one will be shipped on a fortnightly basis. So let's say every two weeks. And then for the name, we'll say two weeks. And then the discount for this one, I'm going to give customers a 15% discount because I want to encourage them to take this plan, right? Here, we'll just leave this as monthly. And then for the name, we'll say monthly. And then the discount will be 10%. Okay, so for the length of the subscription, you can put in a fixed length if you want. However, I'm just gonna leave it to don't stop until the customer cancels it, right? Now we'll go ahead and add the subscription plan, our coffee category, and then we'll just hit save changes. Okay, so now let's refresh this page. And when we scroll down here, we can see our subscription options. So first we need to choose our selection and then we can either purchase this as a one-time purchase or we can subscribe and save up to 15%. And then we get to choose the frequency, right? So we can set this to every two weeks or we want it to ship every month, right? And then just hit sign up and then we can just check out. So Right here, you can see some monthly recurring subscription of $27 and the first amount is due today. We can see our selection. Okay, so let's head back over to the product page and we wanna tweak a few final settings. Okay, so I don't like this setting here. It doesn't make sense. And since we're not really adding any paid options, I'm gonna remove this heading here and just have the total price. So let's head over to our dashboard. Then we'll navigate over to product add-ons. So AOV up and then product add-ons. And then we'll go general settings. We'll scroll down and then we just want to 
enable this option here where it says change product base price we've calculated total and then for the price box we'll say show only the final total save changes let's refresh this page okay and this looks loads better so if you wanted to just create a simple subscription only product all we have to do is we can just click add new product here and then we'll just fill in the information like we did before the product name images and so on and then here on the product format we'll select simple subscription or we can select a variable subscription right so in the native example case that would have been a variable subscription meaning we're allowing users to choose the scent and then we're just offering a subscription okay so essentially all we'll do is we'll fill out the information like we did before the product name description product image category and so on but here on the product data instead of choosing simple product we we'll choose simple subscription okay and then we we'll just enter in our price so for example we can say 99 dollars every um, month every week or whatever the frequency is just like before we can just leave that to don't stop until the user cancels we can offer a free trial and we can even offer a paid trial so if we enable this option here we can say they'll get seven days right a paid free trial for one dollars for example and then here we can choose the text so we could say something like try risk-free so i'll quickly show you how this looks obviously again you'd fill out the information accordingly but here you can see it's a 99 dollar a month plan with a seven day one dollar risk no risk trial right okay as a bonus tip if you're unsure of what products to start offering as a subscription then you can check out createjoy.com and then just head over to their best sellers category and then when we scroll down, we can get inspiration from different um, products that our businesses are selling successfully. So, for example, here we can see that one of their number one sellers is this Bacon of the Month Club. Right. We've got some. So there's a few related around um, food. We've got this DIY um, kids craft. You can just check out this website to get an idea of the type of products you can start offering as a subscription on your own website.